stuff. I had very bad slang to my conversation. I was always cursing. I always tried to wear the pants. And it's like I had no femininity to me at all. You know, I was What's wrong with this generation today? These young boys today, what do she bring to the table? And you're treating it like is this much put in there? There's another on the side taking a little bit more value out of the book. So by the time you get the you got about this much left for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life, you got kids. She get old. What's good, everyone? This your main correspondent, Alan Taylor, and I'm back in the broadcast room yet again. <laughs> Always with another one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, this is the biz right here. You know what I'm saying? You know, women don't uh, women don't give average guys a chance until after they're cooked. I mean, hold on, hold on. Hey, what the French toast is that to think about? Wow, quarters, nickels, and dimes, people. Quarters, nickels, and dimes. I could start talking to somebody and not like them at all, but I mean, sometimes you just gotta give people a chance and then you grow to love these people. Like, exactly. And you grow to have, like, like you really like, like, oh, okay, like I really like love this person. I fuck with them, but they be the total opposite of what you visualize yourself the Just person like you, you know when that happens you, you know when that happens when women wake up one day and go damn i'm fucking cooked it's over. <laughs> then they want to double back he getting on my cooked. eyes with the cook. <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm, I'm, I'm getting, getting up cooking breakfast, breakfast. Man, i heard you say cook what you say what you talking about? okay this is what happens women are in their 20s right they got all the options in the world they don't care about none of that shit y'all talk about right now because life is great. They're getting everything they want. Men are fucking at their beck and call. Men are begging to be with them. Cool. They have a couple kids. They realize, damn, I really don't even like this guy I had kids by. They get in their 30s. They think they still got them options from the 20s. Reality smack them in the face. Bitch, you ain't that hot 23-year-old uh, no more. You 35 with two, three kids now and a baby daddy or two. Men ain't checking for you like that. The guy that was checking for them like that, that is the guy that meet those standards that you was talking about. They wanna go double back on him now with this other ain't shit guy's kids. And say, hey, can you rescue me? Nine times out of 10, these are the guys that grow up to be successful. The guys that was all oh, this fucking nerd, this whatever, get no attention, right? He grows up, he's successful now. Now he's the guy all women want. Then they try to double back with two or three kids after they're cooked, they're done, it's over with. It's a wrap. Now they want that guy. That's usually how it goes. Right. They don't, like you say, oh, we, could, right. we can learn to fall in love with him. No, you can't. Yes, because you can. in your 20s, he's not getting your attention. That, that's or your time. Prime example with me. I used to talk to this boy in high school. He wasn't all that. He was big, like big. And I'm like, mm, nah, huh. Now. Hold on. Hey, what the French Hold on. Think about? Hold on. Now, this young lady sitting here, let's just keep this real. Let's just keep this fucking real out here. <laughs> Y'all know I'm finna motherfucker set this motherfucker uh, candle on fire. You know, real talk. She's sitting here taking up most of the damn couch. <laughs> Taking up most of the damn couch, talking about 
the dude that was back in the day, he was big and this and that. Uh, uh, baby, 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 it ain't like you to... It ain't like you a toothpick. Well, what the French toast is there to think about? And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, she probably been somewhat of that size her whole life. <laughs> what are we talking about here? What are we talk? Lord Hammer, what are we talking about here? Can we cut the crap a little bit? I mean, I'm just saying, you know, can we cut the crap? <laughs> What the fuck? Like, I, I, I guess I just. Now he the fucking manager of his brother that plays for the NFL for the Raiders now, and a white girl got him and swooped him right up and got a baby by him, and and it's just like prime example. Like you didn't want him didn't because want him. he back in the day he was like, nah, he ain't on my level, and then next thing you know, this nigga making money. Back in the day, on your level. On your level. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Listen. Listen, baby girl. Hold on. What? You sitting out here, buck tooth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh. Yeah, nowadays they call it thick. But it's really fast. So what the French toast is there to think about? If you go to your doctor. Hey, what is your damaged muscle head? You stupid. You ignorant or you just plain old death? If you go to your doctor, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's fat. <laughs> and you mean to tell me. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, now he's, do, he's doing, you know what I'm saying, the thing. But see, that's how life works. That's how life works. Careers work. You sitting around here expecting some high school, some high school kid or early 20s man to, you know, be able to, you know, just have it all, you know, that wasn't born into it. Just like you was not born into it as well. So what the, what the hell are you talking about? about? Average people get with average people. This Lord, you people out there are not making any type of logical fucking sense. More money than everybody you didn't date it. Yeah, right. Sucks. I oh now, oh now it sucks. Now so it sucks. Oh, oh he making about. more money now than every man that I done dated. <laughs> <laughs> and see, that's the whole point. Now you always, now you only looking at it. From the monetary standpoint, from the from the money, you know what I'm saying. Now he's making more money than every man that I've dated. That's the whole damn point. You don't look at men as human fucking beings. You don't look at men as men as as, as any type of uh, uh, substance or awareness or the, the, none of that shit. You don't look at men. Uh, fuck it. Basically, like humans. So what the French toast is there to think about? You don't. You don't look at men as humans. You look at men as work tools. Something that you could pick up and put down whenever the fuck you feel like it. But I'm here to tell you that's just not how this shit works. That's the reason why a lot of you women out there are having so many goddamn problems. Because you know what I'm saying? You you're not you're not understanding your humanity as a woman. You're falling victim to the propaganda, the matrix, and all this other type of dumbass shit that's going on. You're not looking at men as human beings too. We need time to grow as well. But at the end of the day, though, you know, if you don't have time, then shit, we ain't got time neither. So what the French toast is there to think about? It is what the hell it is out there. 
It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to all my subscribers. Real talk. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Mad love to all, all of y'all. And uh, yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. You know what I'm saying? If you're new to the channel, please hit that bell to be notified whenever I decide to post things. <laughs> and like I always say about this time, that, my friends, is the bottom line.